Before Meghan got married to Prince Harry, there were voices like Yasmin Alibhai Brown, who said, Meghan, don't marry Prince Harry. For your sake and ours, don't do it, Meghan. You have no idea what you're getting into by marrying Prince Harry. That is what Yasmin Alibai Brown said, my family. And some would say, oh, look, she's just jealous of Meghan Markle. The thing is, even her friends, Meghan's own friends, when they saw what was happening, the intrusion, the harassment, they also told Meghan, is he worth this? That is what they told Meghan. Is he worth this? For those who have watched Harry and Meghan's show on Netflix, you will understand what I'm saying. My family, I want you to see this video from five years ago on what Yasmin Ali Brown, Ali Bhai Brown said about Meghan Markle. Hear this kindly. This is like we're all doomed. This marriage is never going to last. It's a complete fight, don't you? you just, I, yeah, I, don't I, do I, I, did, I started by saying they started by saying I wish them all the joy, didn't yeah. I? But then I he did. went on to say, and then I said, get work. away, Megan, don't do it. You right. said this is not a dreamy fairy tale. It's not. Most crowns are made of thorns as well as diamonds. Wow. She cannot Good possibly fighting. understand what she's getting into. The Windsors are a cold and dysfunctional Whoa. family. I, I, feel like I wanted you to hear that part. The Windsors are a cold and dysfunctional family. You know, a couple of years later, Yasmin Ali Bhai Brown, for any single person who might have thought that, hey, look, she's just being jealous. Oh, look, you know, she doesn't know what she's saying. Now, People can see exactly what she meant when she said it. Said it. Megan is the target of abuse. Members of the royal family, the palace, Kensington Palace itself, headed by Harry's own brother, is the one responsible for leaking negativity against Meghan Markle. My family. And also, kindly hear this more on what Yasmin Ali Brown Ali Pai Brown said. Hear this kindly. I do believe that. I do believe that. I mean, look at the examples. Not just Diana, but even going back to Princess Margaret. Mm. I remember Princess Margaret when she had to sign her love away. It was a rainy day. I remember it very well. And she never really recovered, did she? Because she couldn't marry anybody. That's true. She didn't. Yeah? But life has changed. She never, oh. she never recovered. And the other voice is Piers Morgan saying that things have changed. Things have changed. Well, clearly, things, as you can see, have not changed, my family. So why am I talking about this today, my family? Why am I talking about this today? Now, Yasmin said something when she went on, you know, Byline TV. Now, Byline is a media outlet that I respect and admire for at least being, you know, fair compared to other media outlets in the UK, they indeed are, you know, much, much fairer. My family, I want you to hear also what Yasmin Ali Pai Brown said while on Byline TV about, you know, what is currently happening. The threats posed towards Megan. She said, my family, that Megan is the one that is the target. Kind of like how the other you know, carnival or so-called experts have said that indeed Megan is a target. But she says it as a warning out of fear for Megan Marco. Hear this kindly, please. I want you to be able to hear what she had, the you know, right to say. Media, the right wing media is going to absolutely go again for Megan. And we heard from Neil Basu last week, who was one of the top guys at the Met that she actually faced real threats of violence and there were some secret prosecutions. So my fear is for Harry and Meghan, not for this lot. They will survive. Their PR machine is second to none. They, they won't go. The royal family's PR machine 
is second to none. And in Harry and Meghan's show on Netflix, Prince Harry said that the royal rotor are basically the PR arm of the royal family. So why are the PR arm of the royal family, why have they been weaponized against Harry and Meghan? Why not the UK media ask the right questions? Why not ask the right questions? Why is the palace leaking against members of the royal family? They say they are loved members of the royal family. Why? Why, my family? Why? Why is this happening? If Harry and Meghan are truly loved, you would think that the royal family, that's the palace at Kensington, that William's, Prince Harry's own brother, William, will not be leaking stories about his own brother. You would think that. But what is happening right now is William is leaking stories about his own brother, Prince Harry. But the main target has always been Meghan. And as you've heard from Yasmin Ali High Brown, the royal family will be okay. Their PR arm is second to no one in the entire planet. No one in the entire planet. The PR arm of the royal family is second to no one. I want you to hear those key words. And then some others say they say that, oh no, no, no. Megan is not the target. They won't go after Megan. I mean, just hear this, please. They will survive. Their PR machine is second to none. They, they won't go after Megan like how you say they will because it's both of them. They're both accountable for their actions. Harry is just to blame, if not more so than Megan. It. It's not. No. It's no. both it's of right. them. For, it's, it's, as far as we know, there have not been the level of threats, physical threats to Harry as there have been to yeah. Megan. That is true. And therefore, I really fear for her. The right My reason. family, you've heard yourself from Yasmin Alibhai Brown on the threats that Megan face, faces. And the threats are not as much towards Harry as they are towards Prince Harry's wife. And the royal family that are behind this are doing this intentionally. Intentionally. You know, Harry said that the women who marry into this institution suffer. How is that okay? How is that all right? It is not all right. It is not okay. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop 100%, my family. And there is something that I want you to read, to read you from Brian Cuthcott. You know, some tweets that he posed a couple of years ago, back on what is happening, you know, with the current ongoing smear campaign against Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Now, I respect, you know, Bran Cuthcott. I deeply, deeply have an enormous amount of respect for him because he's someone who is fair in his coverage and on his reporting and calls out the UK press for what they are. They're abusive and they are most certainly not impartial. They are not impartial. And people need to realize that once and for all. Now, a couple of years back, two years ago, in January 9th, 2020, Brand Cuthcutt posted a series of tweets and he said this and I quote a general warning on this day of Harry and Meghan Fuss take everything you read that comes from the UK national press with a pinch of salt they are not impartial or honest observers in this they are determined to break this raw marriage to a woman of color, they are determined to break this royal marriage to a woman of color. He continued by saying this on his tweets. We are told 
that the couple refuses to accept legitimate scrutiny. But what they have faced has not been legitimate. You know, which reminds me of what Megan said at the beginning of the series on Netflix. That by not standing for something, sorry, by standing for something, they are destroying us. By standing for something, they are destroying us. Megan they say that at the beginning of the docu series, my family. Megan say that, and their whole family are behind it. They are behind it. They and the UK press are working hand in hand. The institution. And the tabloids are together in this. They know the truth of the desires of the farm to break this raw marriage. My family. To ruin both Harry and Meghan. And no wonder even Alip High Brown says she's concerned for Meghan. She's concerned for her. Yasmin Alip High Brown. The woman. A couple of years back said, Megan, don't marry Prince Harry. My family. People have seen who the roles are. A cold, dysfunctional family. And you think they will learn from what they've done in the past. And want to change. But the thing is, they are not interested in changing who they are. A cold, dysfunctional, ruthless, abusive family family. My family, allow me to continue what Brian Cuthcutt said. It has been a sustained campaign of vilification routinely relying on innuendo and falsehood and often laced with racism. We are also led to believe that draft stuff from the UK press is only to be expected or that Kate went through it. Why, why not Megan? Why not your, your girlfriend? As Harry was, you know, being told by members of the royal family. I'm guessing William. My family, Harry said that the problem is the race element. The race element, that is the problem. The media could not hide its racism. Within eight days, of Harry and Meghan's relationship becoming public, Harry had to issue a statement condemning racism against his girlfriend, Meghan, at the time. You know, why are the women who marry into the royal family, why do they have to be abused? Why does that abuse be called a rite of passage? Why? I mean, in the world that we live in today, why? Is abuse being called a rite of passage for the women who marry into their own family? It is not okay. In any woman, I'm going to say any woman who marry, marries into their own family, they should not be abused. Not a single woman who marry into their own family should not be abused. They should be treated with respect and dignity that they deserve. Abuse is being called a right or passage. I mean, come on. Come on. That tells you what you need to know about the landscape of the UK, of what Harry and Meghan experienced, of what Meghan had to endure. That has become so, so dangerous for Meghan Markle and even Meghan and Harry's children, Archie and Lipetana. My family, Continue hearing this, please. We are also led to believe that rough stuff from the UK press is only to be expected and it's part of the whole job to accept it. Don't believe it. Real journalism is not about dishing out rough stuff. It's about truth and fairness. Truth and fairness. No journalist anywhere should be asserting. The raw couple have to put up with journalism that is untrue and unfair. 
no individual, royal or otherwise, should ever have to do that. Journalists should be taking some responsibility, responsibility for the abuses, for the abuses that have happened. Instead, we are encouraged to think that a bad press for this couple or for anybody else is like the British weather, the UK weather. Something you have to shrug and put up with. It is not. It is man-made. This deliberate policy of individuals working for corrupt, you know, tablet organizations. Now we are watching a concerted effort, a concerted effort by those organizations to kill off any remaining public sympathy for this vilified royal couple. In their torrent of words, they are creating a new normal in which the prince becomes the Duke of Windsor, led astray by a grasping wife. It's the woman's fault. The strategy of the UK tablet press is the woman's fault. But when you ask UK media personnel, what is the difference between the Taliban being misogynistic towards women and the UK media being misogynistic towards Megan? You get blocked because the truth is something that they are, they are allergic to hearing. My family, Megan is a woman who, before you know, marrying Prince Harry, you know, what I like about. Harry and Meghan's docuseries is also that it shines a spotlight on Meghan's life and work prior to meeting Prince Harry. It showed Meghan's address to the United Nations. I like that part. I like that. How they wanted to show what Meghan did prior to meeting Prince Harry. And she lived an accomplished life. She lived a, she lived a happy life. She traveled the world. Not a single person ever said a bad word about Megan prior to meeting Prince Harry. Not a single person. Nothing. Tabloids look for everything to use against Megan and they couldn't find anything. That they had to pay an offer money to someone Rex. $70,000. $70,000 to lie that he had slept with Megan. That was also highlighted in Harry and Meghan's docuseries. Will the media propose a segment to discuss that? No, they will not. They won't. Do you know what they're focused on? Meghan mocking herself on how she cutsed the queen. That's the topic of discussion. That's also unforgivable, apparently. But not the fact that UK media outlets Offered seventy thousand dollars to someone to say to lie that he had slept with Meghan Markle. Seventy thousand dollars. The media tabloids don't want to discuss that. That is not a topic that came out in the UK media. That came up in the UK media. Nada. Nothing. Nothing. In the white in the white anathon. In the obsession to harass and bully Harry and Meghan. That did not come up in the wine athathon. My family, press abuse is unacceptable for any single person anywhere. And they, the women who marry into the institution, should not be subjected or put through that. My family, Brand Cutcut continues by saying this. Or alternatively, Harry is in La La Land with no grasp of the financial realities of his own position or of the world. If these views were placed in context, they might constitute legitimate opinion. But surprise, the context of sustained dishonest press abuse is always omitted, 
omitted. I like this guy. This guy and James O'Brien. I like them. I like them so much. Now, this honest press abuse that they never talk about. They call it a right of passage. A right of passage. Why should the women go through abuse? Why? Why? Come on, why? Why? Regardless of who you are, you should not go through abuse at the hands of the media. A media should be objective, but that clearly is not there in the UK media landscape. Brand continued by saying this, that we are also constantly reminded that they are privileged and they owe us something, and it's true. But it is the taxpayer who confer the privilege. Not the mail, the sun, the times, and the telegraph. They owe nothing to those papers. And they can communicate to the public without their help. And the media, Tauri media, does not want that. Anything with the royal family must go through the lens of the media first before it is released to the public that is how, you know, things work in the royal family. No wonder even Megan say that it's a process. If you even want to share a photo of your son, it must go through the royal rotor first. To which Megan said in the Cut Magazine article, why would I give a photo of my son to people who call him the N-word, racism in the UK media landscape? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. You know, Bran Cuthcott finished by saying this. There is a special iniquity about the way journalists with no dog in this fight in Borkas, for example, simply parrot the lines of the corporate press. The fundamental problem to be tackled here in reality is the prince or his wife. It is not the prince or his wife. It is a hateful, dishonest press. My family. That is how Brian Cuthcutt ends his tweet. I mean, look him up on Twitter. The guy is a good guy. I like his model of journalism. He does a great, great job. I like that 100%. My family, you've heard Yasmin Alibhai Brown's concerns on Megan's safety. Concerns for Megan's life because Megan, the media does not come at Harry the way they come after Megan. We've all seen that. It's clear. Harry says that I made the decision to leave the UK. Media blame Megan. They drum up hate against Megan. My family, you've seen that. And that's just one example. You've heard from Yasmin Ali Pai Brown saying that Meghan don't marry Prince Harry. Five years ago, did Meghan do the right thing by marrying Prince Harry? I will say, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Why is that? Because in this life, it's rare to find true love. And what we've seen from Harry and Meghan is a true love story. A true love story of what a father, a husband, would do to protect his wife and children from his own extended family. From the rota that his family has a deal, a contract with, from the PR arm of his own family. What a father would do to keep his wife and son safe. What a father, a husband would do to take his wife everything that he knew to bring him to a place, a different place in America where they can both live. Harry can live with his wife, son and daughter. True love. True love. And no wonder many Karens are jealous about this true love. My family, I want you to hear what Megan said about, you know, what's been happening. At the beginning of the docu series, hear this kindly, my family. Hear this. 
is in London and I'm here. I don't even know where to begin. My job is to keep my family safe. By the nature of being born into this position and with everything else that comes with it and the level of that has been stirred up in the last three years, especially against my wife and, and my son. As is my mom outside with our Even Prince Harry himself knows who the target is. Yasmin has said Megan is the target. Tom Boa said his target is Megan. The target of the Tower media is Megan. You have Harry said hate is being stirred up against my wife and my son. You have Prince Harry also saying that. So they know clearly what is happening to them. I mean, just hear more of this kindly, please. I'm genuinely concerned um, for the safety of my family. Stay, stay. I just really want to get to the other side of all of this. Um... My family, you've heard from Megan herself. The pain in her eyes, the pain in Megan's eyes about what they were enduring at the hands of the UK media and the royal household. No one should have to go through that pain. Nobody. My family. And it pains me to see what Megan has endured all of these years. My family, it pains me. It really, really pains me, my family. No one should ever have to go through this pain. No one. No one should ever have to go through this one bit. And I'm hoping that they'll be able to heal from the pain that they have both endured as a couple and as a family. Healing is a process, and I do surely hope that they are able to heal from this, from all this pain that has been caused to them by the royal family, by the institution, and the tabloid media, my family. My family, it's rare to find true love. What's clear to me is that Harry and Meghan have found true love in each other. And it's only totally unacceptable that tabloids are allowed to abuse people in the manner that they do abuse both Harry and Meghan. I don't accept that one bit. That is unacceptable. My family, and it's high time that people say no to this abuse. This abuse is not allowed. It's unacceptable. And the fact that they call it abuse, a rite of passage, to tell you of the abusive environment that Harry and Meghan have been in all of these years. It is not okay to abuse people. People should be treated with dignity and respect. That is what should happen. I'm glad that both Harry and Meghan left the UK. I'm glad and thankful for that. My family, please tell me what you think about it. This to your opinion kindly. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our growing family on YouTube. And please stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. The media campaign against Harry and Meghan should come to an end. It should come to an end and should stop. The bullying and abuse should stop. It should stop. Once and for all. It should, should stop. It should really, really stop. I'm opposed to what has happened all of these years. I'm opposed and I'll fight against it. I'll fight against this hate campaign against Harry and Meghan that we've witnessed all of these years. My family, thank you so much for not standing and just watching this happen, for joining this community to fight this hate. Thank you so much, family. I also want you to hear what Megan said also, you know, in the Loki series, my family. Hear this kindly about, you know, this part. 
not represent what London stands for. Take back control of this country. No one knows the full truth. Um, we know the full truth. The institution knows the full truth, and the media know the full truth because they've been in on it. And I think anybody else in my situation would have done exactly the same thing. You've heard from Prince Harry himself, my family. Any single person in his position would have done the exact same thing. Protect your family. That is what you would do. Protect your wife, protect your kids. And that is what Harry has done to protect his wife and the kids. My family, if it were you, you know, just ask yourself, would you stand all day and watch as your wife is abused every single morning, every day, every week, every month? When your wife is carrying a child even, they don't stop attacking your wife. If it was you, would you put up with it? You know, if that's, if you wouldn't, then why should Harry and Meghan, you know, do? Meghan says, they are destroying them because Harry and Meghan say that they won't stand for this. My family, they won't stand for it. And don't put up with abuse for any single person. Don't put up with it for any single person. Choose happiness, choose love, and be happy. Meghan said that, unfortunately, by not standing for something, you know, they are destroying us. They are destroying us. For not standing for something, they are destroying us, Megan said. My family, I'm glad that Harry and Megan did not sell their souls to the UK press. My family, I'm thankful for that. We must keep fighting this hate. Hate will never win. Love wins. And the UK people in the UK must demand more from their media to stop the abuse. Abuse is not okay. It's completely unacceptable. My family, please tell me what you think, Kylie. And with that, and so much more, stay tuned for our next video. Love you always and forever. Kindly like, subscribe, and support every good family on YouTube. Tell me what you think about what Yasmin Alipai Brown said. May God protect Prince Harry and Meghan. My family, may they all be safe each and every single day of their lives. The royal family, the farm, are very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. And take what Yasmin Alibai Brown said very, very much seriously. Very, very seriously. My family, it's important that you do. It's important that we do take it very seriously. On the threats that Megan faces, it's important to take those seriously. And the royal family knows of those threats. And still, they won't ensure the safety of both Harry and Megan. Still, they won't. You know what that means? That means complicity. My family, keep praying for Prince Harry and Meghan. Keep praying for them. And choose love. Meghan did make the right decision to marry Prince Harry because she found love. Don't ever throw away something special. If you find love, protect it. My family, Please stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Libedana, and Doria Raglan. And stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan. Showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community. This amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more. 
Stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family. Always and forever. Sayonara.